Welcome to TechZine TV. Welcome to TechZine TV. We're at Sweet World in Las Vegas, and we're here with Evan Goldberg, Executive Vice President at Oracle NetSuite, and also the founder of NetSuite. I still think that's important. <laughs> Yeah, it gives some some insight into who you are. Yeah, pretty much your child, yeah? the, the the company, I guess. Um, it's many many parents, <laughs> many like parents. many successful things. <laughs> yeah, um, you did a big announcement this week. You announced then next week next. Yes. Um, what's pretty new for me is uh, you're announcing a product that's not yet available. We have to wait a bit. A bit. That, that, that's that's a bit new. A little bit. Yeah. So can you? We're explain... showing it on the show floor. Yeah, but can you explain a bit what next is and mm. and, and why we have to wait? I mean, six to twelve months, something. Yeah. Well, I, the the reason we wanted to announce it now is because we're going to be showing it in preview mode in just a few months, and we wanted to get all of our users here, the eight thousand users that are gathered here at Sweet World, to see what's coming, so that they will hopefully. Uh, adopt uh, these new technologies, try these new technologies, and then ultimately adopt these new technologies and help us shape the future of NetSuite. I mean, this is a conversation. Nobody can say with any confidence, I would say, about that they know how the AI age is going to evolve. <laughs> and so we're all inventing it together. We think it has incredible promise for users of business applications, the biggest change in how you interact with business applications probably ever mm -hmm. um, since they were invented and certainly the biggest change to NetSuite since it was invented. And so that's why we're, you know, really using this as an opportunity to include all our users in that conversation. And is next something that came together in the last year or is it something you've been working no, on? No, as it turns out, it was um, fortunate that about... Uh, Five years ago, before uh, the kind of chat GPT revolution, the LLM generative AI revolution, we realized that at approaching 25 years um, old, it was, it was a good time to look at retooling NetSuite for the future. Not knowing how technology was going to change, but knowing that it definitely was going to change. We wanted to have a robust foundation so that NetSuite was as vital in 25 years as it was at the, at the time. And so many of the technologies that we have been pioneering over the fi uh, last five years are what we're using as the foundation of our AI-centric NetSuite, the next generation of NetSuite. And, those are, uh, and, and, and so it turned out that um, we were able to sort of pivot um, and develop um, a, a new version of NetSuite built on built on these technologies, and that's what NetSuite Next is. So it's really five years of development. This is a complete re rebuild. Uh. No, it's not a complete rebuild. And obviously, one of the most exciting things about it is that you can start using it just by basically flipping a switch. It, it's it's retooling alongside many of our new technologies like Suite Analytics, which is our next generation search and reporting. The Redwood user experience, which is, you know, sort of our next generation user experience. These basic technologies that we've been pioneering over the last five years are what we're using to expose AI uh, to our customers. And I guess the most important feature within Next is the Ask Oracle mm -hmm. system. Right. And that is really a collaboration with Oracle. Mm -hmm. um, it's been something that Oracle has been working on also for several years. Uh, Actually, also from before, I mean, I first heard of it right when we started our work on our next generation uh, technologies. And I said, you know what, we could, we need to center the next generation of NetSuite around Ask Oracle. Now, I had no idea how powerful Ask Oracle was going to become in light of the advances in, um, you know, a natural language understanding that came with uh, ChatGPT, generative AI, uh, LAMP. So, Th those were two kind of ideas that converged beautifully. And and I think that it is emblematic of the fact that the next generation of computer software applications you talk to, because that's what humans have evolved to do. We didn't evolve to point and click, we evolved to talk. And that doesn't mean that everything is done through conversation, but that's the primary mode in the future of interacting with these business applications. 
did you know Ask Oracle was going to be so powerful? Because it also looks a bit like a shift in your AI strategy. Because Ask Oracle is a lot more powerful than uh, text enhanced you introduced last year, for example. Well, you know, one of the things that's exciting is that I think there's an evolution now of generative AI in general, moving away from just being an engine for text or image or video, but actually starting to be able to interact directly with structured data and databases and, and kind of combine your unstructured data with your structured data. It reminds me, it's similar to sort of what happened in the early days of the internet. 1994, 95, the internet was about showing information, displaying information, connecting different pieces of information. And it was only with NetSuite and other SaaS applications, it took another three or four years until they actually, we were combining the structured data, business data with the other capabilities of the internet to build, you know, the cloud. And I think we have sort of a similar um, transformation happening now. And that's why you're seeing these explosion of things like model context protocol, which is taking these applications that deal with structured data and exposing that data, not as text necessarily, but as business objects. Do text and hands stay and yeah, absolutely. prompt engineering That's, stay? Yes, and, and, but prompt engineering, as we saw in today's keynote, mm -hmm. takes on a whole new role because agents are going to be built from prompts. And it's like you're not going to program agents in JavaScript or some other language. You're going to say, here's the description of the agent. And then the agent knows how to turn that into sweet script or turn that into JSON or XML or REST or whatever else it needs to do. So I think it. there is going to, for the, the prompt engineering discipline is going to move um, to be more central in a lot of different things at NetSuite. Sorry. And it's going to create a sweet agent within the next protocol like you're not done. Well, sweet, sweet agents is part of NetSuite Next. And so it, as soon as we, when you're able to preview NetSuite Next, you'll be able to try creating your own agents in natural language. There is some more, a few more technical details there. It's still meant to target like an admin of a NetSuite account, not necessarily yet a general business user, but that's where we're headed. Business users being able to design their own agents to solve the problems that they solve on a daily basis. And AI is a big part of NetSuite Next. Uh, are there other things you can offer to your customers that you can't with the current version? Uh, besides the AI part. Right. So it does have a lot of the user experience improvements that we've been working on for several years. Um, we described that yesterday in yesterday's keynote. You know, our we have infinite scrolling in our lists and we have new ways of searching and filtering in lists. And these are all because, again, it's not like user experience, your traditional user experience completely goes away, it sort of becomes an adjunct to the primary user experience, which is conversation. Um, I also noticed Ask Oracle is being integrated in all the Fusion apps as well. Um, does it mean that Ask Oracle can get data out of multiple Oracle applications when you ask it a question? I certainly think that we will be integrating you know, ext external chat experiences that can deal with multiple uh, components of Oracle's entire um, uh, product set. As you know, that we already offer some of Oracle's enterprise products in NetSuite versions, NetSuite Analytics Warehouse, NetSuite um, Enterprise Performance Management. I mean, we, if you know, if you went to my keynote, because those are some of the things that I uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that I demonstrated. So there's more and more work in, in going in and sort of, you know, integrating the capabilities of various Oracle, um, properties. And I think that would be a natural extension in the future. So also Oracle solution that might not be closing next week now, but are available for mid market companies that could be a very good combination. Then. And, and I think, um, if ask or, you know, we have more opportunities for uh, commerce between uh, companies that use NetSuite and companies that use Fusion with um, Ask Oracle as sort of an, an intermediary there. I think that's a really exciting possibility for the future. Yeah, and NetSuite is already a suite. When with Oracle, it's going to be a gigantic suite or something? Well, we'll just have to say. Thank you, Aaron, for this conversation. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching TechSign TV, and we'll be back with more. 
Thank you for watching Tech Scene TV, the channel about enterprise technology that brings you IT insights and analyses from events all around the globe. We cover everything, everywhere. Visit techscene.eu for more written in-depth articles and analysis, or keep watching techscene.tv. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels and share your favorite videos with your colleagues. We'll see you soon.